Hi, I'm Stephanie and welcome back to Building a Path to Success. On this channel, I like to focus on sharing a lot of information in short periods of time for high school and or college students so that they can build meaningful resumes. I share information on internships, REUs, conferences, and other opportunities. The goal is for students to become more competitive as they work towards their personalized career goal. Essentially, allowing students to separate themselves from the pack so that they could be recognized. This is a competitive world, so I always tell students to apply to as many programs as you could possibly apply for that you're comfortable with without stressing yourself out and that you qualify for. You may not get accepted to every program, you may get one or two, you may get all of them, but it allows you options. <clears throat> Uh, I have been saying since the summer, fall of 2021, the applications are booming. I mean, things have slowed down with the pandemic, and I don't know where the pandemic is going to take us to. Look, you know, we don't have the vaccine um, being given or taken by everyone. I am not here to be on a political tip. I'm just here to talk about opportunities that we all may live as long as we can, and the quality of life is wonderful. This is what I'm trying to make sure. I'm not here to tell you anything about politics, but about life and breathing air and living as long as we can and having a quality of life that we want. But that said, applications are opening up, opening up and I wanna share yet another application with you. As usual, if this is not interesting to you, this particular one, share the information. Give me a thumbs up, share it. Subscribe so that you can get notified when the next uh, video hits, so you can be one of the first to know. Let's be the village and share the information because there are a lot of students who qualify and just don't know about these programs. Our job is to make sure that we can get as many people as we can into the program. So this program is specifically for students in college who are interested this is with the University of Massachusetts, their uh, medical school. They are having um, their undergraduate research program for 10 weeks, summer of 2022. And as structured research experiences, they will have uh, mentors helping them. And it's really to expose students to biomedical research. You will also get some career building connections. You'll have um, be working with researchers, postdoctoral students, and with uh, with peers. Um, you will receive a stipend of four thousand dollars, and that will be given to you over three periods, over that ten week time period. Travel and housing is paid for and arranged by the program, so you don't have to worry about that. Remember, if you listen to some of the past ones, some places don't cover housing, some places don't cover travel, they will cover your travel and your housing. Um, transportation is provided weekdays to and from the campus, so your housing may be off campus, which is, this is not abnormal. Um, and at the end, of the 10 weeks, you will have some type of symposium where you will do a, a poster and that poster will reflect your research that you did over the time. So that's pretty much how it works. When, who can you, you know, when can you apply? Who can apply? What's needed to apply? Here we go. Application opens November 15th of 2021. It will close March 1st of 2022. Again, with the application at this time period, allows you your winter break if you work on, a, if, you, if your school works on semesters and not trimesters, you will have that, some, that winter break to work on it. Um, so it has a little bit different later start, uh, later opening date than some of the other ones. You will need your resume, uh, unofficial transcript. They're gonna be looking for that transcript at the, at the conclusion of the um, fall of 2021. So that's another reason it's a little bit later is looking at that transcript for this, this fall semester. 
copy of previous undergraduate institution transcripts. So if you went to, if you did like a dual enrollment program while you were in high school, or if you attended a community college before going to a four-year program, they're looking for your personal statement. More information on the personal statement will be on the link within the description below and two letters of recommendations. All that must be sent to them by March 1st of 2022. <clears throat> I think that this is a great opportunity. It does. Now I know some of you are probably saying, wait a second. I saw that UMass information about what they were sending out to some of the um, minority st student organizations. And yes, that was true. UMass has several campuses, and I would still say, apply anyway. Apply. Apply to every opportunity that you can. Who else is going to pay for you to learn? They're paying you a stipend to learn. They're paying for your travel. They're paying for your housing. You may have to pay for your food. This may be true, but that's another reason they're going to give you three um, break your check up into three parts so you can, you know, get your food. These programs make you stand out as an undergraduate student. Going home for the summer to run around with your friends and work somewhere getting paid minimum wage is not the way. Your formal education is college. You need to have these meaningful programs to make you stand out. This is also networking. These are the people you need to be around. Undergraduate alone is great, but it's not getting to you to where you need to be. It is programs such as these. If you apply, if you don't mind letting me know, if you get accepted, please let me know. I just wanna know who is even looking at the videos. Share the videos, but I wanna know that people are actually applying. People are, you know, taking steps. You may have to develop an Excel sheet to keep up. Again, if you're not interested in this program, share the information. There's a lot of students talking about, oh, I wanna, I wanna be a doctor, I wanna be a doctor, I wanna be a physician. They need to be in these programs. They're the ones who need this. I thank you as usual for listening. I thank you for sharing. And I look forward to having many students apply for this program, as well as having you share it and being a part of the village. Together, we will have our students in more programs like this. I thank you and until next time, take care.